by three moment equation, determine the vertical reactions at B and C and the moment reactions at D. Also compute the slopes at A and B. Modulus of elasticity for the beam is 200 gigapascals. Moment of inertia I as indicated is 200 times 10 to the 6 mm to the 4th. Support settlements at A 20 mm, B 15 mm, and C 10 mm. And here is the beam. And these are the position of the supports after uh, moving downwards or settled by 20 mm, 15 mm, and 10 mm at A, B, and C, respectively. So, moment at A is negative 30 times 3, so negative 90. And let's have that step and step also here. This is 20 dx. Let's call this distance x. So this distance is 6 minus x. And that's 2. Likewise, the height of this loading as to x, we call this x, equals 24 as to 3. So the height of the loading is 8x, if that is x. So that is 8x and the differential force is 8x dx. So moment A is negative 30 times 3, so it is negative 90 kilonewton meter. So we first apply three moment equations in spans A, B, C. So moment A negative 90 times 8 over 1.5 because the moment of inertia is 1.5i. This is the horizontal line through C as our uh, through B as our reference in computing H A and H sub C. So therefore, H sub A is negative 5 mm or negative 0 0.005 because A is below the horizontal line, this green, light green one. This is now the position of A. While H sub C is positive 5 mm or 0 0.005. So negative 90 times 8 over 1.5 plus 2 times MB quantity 8 over 1.5 plus 5 over 2, because the moment of inertia here is 2, plus mc times 5 over 2. The value of 6a1a over l1i1 is integral of 20dx times 2 plus x over 8 times 1.5. You have to divide 8 by 1.5 times quantity 8 square minus 2 quantity 2 plus x quantity square so that's 0 to 6 while 6a2b over l2 is integral from 0 to 3 for the variation of x of 8x dx times quantity this is 3 minus x uh, 5 square 8x dx times c minus x over 5 5 times 2 we have to divide 5 by 2 also because the moment of inertia is 2. Quantity L square minus B square, which is 3 minus X quantity square. So distance of this 8X DX from C is 3 minus X. Then equals 6EI, where EI is 200 times 200,000 200, times 200 is 40,000 kilonewton meter, so 6 EI 40,000 kilonewton meter, then negative 0 0.005 over 8, then 8 sub C is positive 5 mm or 0 0.005, it is above this horizontal line through B over 5. Now take note EI is 40,000 and the uh, values of EI for the spans are already incorporated in these values here. Simplifying, so the first is negative 480. This integral here is 1,500. This integral is 80.28. And the value at the right side is 90. So simplifying, 47 over 3 MB plus 2.5 MC 
equals negative 10, 10, 0.28. Call this equation 1. Then we apply three moment equation on span BCD. Then we extend D to, we replace, so MB times 5 over 2 plus 2 times MC times quantity 5 over 2 plus 6 over 1. Then we change the transform D into interior pin and another interior pin. So we have D prime. Then the span is the moment the D prime is zero. So plus MD times six over one. The value of six A one A over L one is the integral of eight X DX times two plus X all over 5 times 2, quantity 5 squared minus quantity 2 plus x squared. Then for 6a2b over l2, we have two concentrated loads, so the 5 times 4 over 6, quantity 6 squared minus 4 squared, plus 30 times 2 over 6, quantity 6 squared minus 2 squared. Then equals 6 times 40,000. Uh, we do horizontal line through C, our reference. So that means HB is negative 5 mm while HD is positive 10 mm. So equals 6 times 40,000 times quantity negative 0 0.005 over 5 plus 0 0.01 over 6. Simplifying the value of the integral here is 108.72. This is 1,000 over 3. This value is 320 and the right side is 160. So simplifying, setting up the second equation, 2.5 MB plus 17 M sub C plus 6 MD equals negative 45, 154 over 75. Call that equation 2. Finally, we set apply three moment equation in CDD prime. So M sub C times 6 plus 2 M D times 6 plus 0 plus 0 moment at D prime is 0 and plus the value of 6 A 1 A over L 1 consists of 25 times 2 over 6, 6 square minus 2 square plus 30 times 4 over 6, quantity 6 square minus 4 square. And there's no 6A2B over L2 for span DD prime. So plus 0 equals 0. Equals 6 times 40,000 times quantity negative 0 0.01 over 6 for 8 sub C. The horizontal line through D is above C and C is below 10 mm. So negative 0 0.01 over 6. The horizontal line through D passes D prime, so it's zero. H D prime is zero. So simplifying, the value here is 800 over 3. This one is 400, and this one is negative 400. So 6 M C plus 12 M D equals negative 3,200 3, over 3. Call that equation 3. So solving these three equations simultaneously, we have MB equals negative 65.571 kilonewton meter. MD, MC equals positive 6.801 kilonewton meter. And MD, which is required here, is negative 92.289 kilonewton meter. We then compute and apply the moments and we compute RB left and RB right. That's the moment. That's the negative moment direction. Then at C, positive. So counterclockwise at the left, clockwise at the right. And reactions RCL and RC right. So considering AB, summation moment about A equals 0. So RB left times 8 plus 30 times 3 equals 
65.57, 1 plus 20 times 6, 3 plus 2 is 5. The moment arm for the uniform load is 5. So RB left is equal to 71.946 kN. Then considering BC, summation moment about C equals 0. So RB right times 5 equals 6.801 plus 65.571 plus 1 half or 0.5 of 3 times 24 times 1. So RB right is equal to uh, 21.674 kilonewtons. So adding these two, RB left and RB right, we can now compute RB. So R sub B is equal to 93.62 kilonewtons. Then we compute RC left, summation moment about B equals 0. So RC left times 5 plus uh, 6.801 plus 65.571 equals 1 half or 0.5 of 3 times 24. So this moment arm is 4. 2 thirds of 3, 2 plus 2 is 4. So RC left is equal to 14.326 kilonewtons. Then summation moment about D equals 0. Moment that D is, we have a clockwise moment, 92.289. So RCR times 6 plus 6.801 plus 92.289 equals 30 times 2 plus 25 times 4. So RC right is equal to 10.152 kilonewton. So adding these two reactions, we get the reaction at C, which is 24.478 kilonewtons. So that's those are the answers for the reactions. So we have left for we have left to investigate or compute slopes at A and B. So let's have that on the next slide. So for the slopes at A and B, we first uh, compute RA and we copy RB left. So this is the expected elastic curve. RB left was 71.946 kilonewtons. So shear at A just to the right or RAR could be determined. Take note that there is moment here of 90 RAR times uh, 8 RAR plus summation forces Y, sorry, RAR plus 71.946 equals 20 times 6. So RAR or the shear at A just to the right is 48.054. And we now draw the moment diagram by parts here. So 48.054 times 8 is equal to 384.432 over EI I of AB. Take note that moment of inertia of AB is 1.5 of I. Then we have here the moment which is negative 90. So this is, neg this is 90 over EI AB. And this is the moment due to the uniform load. So take note we have a moment here of negative 90. If we just consider section AB, we have to put the moment of negative 90 kilonewton meter. So the moment due to this uniform load is 20 times 6 times 3. So we have 90 and we have here the value 360 over EI AB. 360 is 20 times 6 times 3. And it is second degree. The distance of the centroid from the right is 6 over 4 or 1.5. Its distance from this 0 point is 4.5 and take note this is 2 meters. So the distance of the centroid of this second degree area from the left is 6.5, 4.5 plus 2. So EI division of EI AB is 200 times 1.5 I 
So it is equal to 60,000 kilonewton meter square as before. Uh, EI is only 40,000 but EIAB is 60,000 kilonewton meter square. So EI division of AIAB division of B relative to A. So we sum up moment of areas with respect to the right one half or 0.5 of 8 times 384.432 times one third of 8 or 8 thirds. Then minus 8 times 90 times 4. And minus one third of 6 times 360 times 1.5. And solving for division of B relative to A, EI division of EIAB division of B relative to A equals 140.608. So supposedly we're going to divide it by 60,000, the result is meter, and we convert it to mm, so we multiply again by 1,000. So it's just like dividing everything by 60, and the division of B relative to A would be in mm. So division of B relative to A is. 140.608 divided by 60 and it is 2.3435 mm. So, so this vertical distance at the end of this blue tangent to this horizontal is 2.3435 as shown. And to make it uh, clear, let's transfer this drawing here. So the vertical distance between supports A and B, because they settled 20 mm for A, 15 mm for B, the vertical distance is 5 mm, which is this. And this is 2.3435, which is transferred here. Therefore, theta A rotates counterclockwise, so theta A is positive, And it is equal to opposite 5 minus 2.3435, 5, 5 mm minus 2.34. 35 mm divided by 8,000 mm or 8 meters is, which is 8,000 mm. So theta A is equal to quantity 5 minus 2.3435 over 8,000. So theta A can now be computed. It is equal to 3.321 times 10 to the negative 4 radians. Likewise, we evaluate EIAB division of A relative to B. We just change the moment arm here. So quantity 0 0.5 times 8 times 384.42 times 16 thirds minus 8 times 90 times 4 and minus 1 third times 6360 times 6.5. 1 third of 6 times 360 times 6.5. So solving for division of A relative to B, EIAB division of A relative to B is 641.216. Dividing this by 60, we get division of A relative to B in mm. Since it is positive, just like this, so meaning the elastic curve is above the reference tangent for 2.3435. So if we draw the, elast the tangent to, to B, so this point on the elastic curve at A should be above that reference tangent. This is the reference tangent. And this is 10.687 as shown. So let's magnify it here. So that's tangent at B. This is 10.687. Therefore, the vertical distance of B And A is 5 mm plus 10.67, and the horizontal distance is 8,000. Theta B is, is counterclockwise, so it is positive from the horizontal, so it is counterclockwise. Tangent theta B is theta B itself. It is 5 mm plus 10.687 divided by 8,000. So theta B can now be computed. It is positive. 1.961 times 10 to the negative 3 regions. And we will verify this by another method, slope deflection equations, when we reach that uh, topic.